I want to give another round of applause to all of our all of our speakers. Um, yes. You know, sometimes, sometimes we at Road to Purity kind of forget. We were just talking about this in a in one of our business meetings the other day. That uh, you know, my dad said that he started this ministry nine years ago, uh, and I've been involved in some way or another for a long time until full time recently, as he mentioned. And we get so used to this conversation, but obviously it's. It's a bit of an uncomfortable conversation, and I appreciate that. And I just I wanted to call out especially the uh, the vulnerability that all of our testimonies had today, all of our speakers. Um, so thank you so much for being willing to come up here and share your story. I know it's not easy. So um, now we'd like to talk about some of our future plans for Road to Purity. So for this next year, we have an operating budget roughly of about $700,000. And we're going to break down a little bit of uh, where we're going to take our programs and our, our plans for the future. First and foremost, we aim to expand our valuable team, enhancing support for our existing staff while increasing our ability to manage grants and coordinate external services and foster stronger relationships with both clergy and our generous donors. As I go into more detail, you can see some of what we are looking to accomplish on the screens behind me. Now, our existing programs, as you've already heard, have been a great success, and it's our hope to introduce, introduce actually several more. In particular, we aim to welcome an additional 20,000 students into our Restoring God's Foundation program uh, which costs about $10 per person to get into the program, to get them signed up. We also recognize that there's a need to update and modernize the program, especially the online platform. We actually just updated the, uh, the book in person platform uh, about two months ago. We've actually had a huge demand in recent years for Spanish versions of all of our programs. So we'd like to meet this overwhelming demand by translating all of our resources into Spanish and initiating Spanish-led groups in parishes. Uh, and I think I just heard something recently that specifically in Denver, um, the amount of Spanish uh, parishes or parishioners is almost more than, uh, than not. So it's, it's definitely a demand that we have here for sure, but we also want to meet that nationwide. Now, we also firmly believe that educating parents and clergy is, about the detrimental effects of pornography is critical. Um, so to this aim, we are in the process of releasing a specialized program, uh, part of that clergy formation enhancement program we mentioned earlier, that will equip them with even more tools to address this topic at the pulpit uh, and in other ways at their parish. And some of those resources will also be available to deacons. Uh, we found that a lot of deacons have told us people sometimes go to them because they're afraid to go to their priest. So um, we have that as well. We've heard from many priests that there's a surprising number of people who don't realize pornography is a sin, or especially that it's a mortal sin, uh, and they're wondering how to talk about it. So we've actually, in the same way that Restoring God's Foundation, we've built to be easy to follow and hold your hand. We don't want anybody in our program sitting there having to do the work to try and understand how to actually solve the problem. So in the same way, our priest programs, we do the work. Uh, the program that we're hoping to release soon, we've done the work to coordinate the scriptures and how to relate it to this topic at the pulpit. Um, so we've done the work for the priests to be able to help them find a way to address it and make sure that the awareness is there in their parish. Uh, alongside that, we are also creating a pillar for parents on how to safeguard their children from falling into the traps of addiction, as well as how to talk to their kids about sex in an age-appropriate way and in ways that highlight the truth about the great gift that God has given us in our bodies and sexuality. Now, I know that's a pretty common thing. I know that there's other resources on how to talk to your kids about sex, sharing theology of the body. But as you heard in our keynote, sometimes that by itself is not enough. That's a core foundation that is crucial. Um, but we aim to actually have a program that both has that and teaches parents, how do you keep your kids from getting to that addictive place? Again, we mentioned that at our SEEK conference where we did our study, uh, the 88% of young men and 80% of young women who were struggling, they, they, a lot of them understood uh, the truth about sexuality in the Catholic sense and theology of the body, and they're still struggling. Um, so we, our program will be twofold in that way. We're also actively developing a parish membership model that provides parishes with continuous access to resources like our talks, 
uh, and enables them to start programs with ease. This initiative is set to be robust counteroffensive in our war on pornography. We want to bring every parish in the U.S. in attack on this, involved in this war. We're also planning an intense boot camp version of Restoring God's Foundation, targeting those who urgently need help. Some of the counseling calls we get, we get individuals calling who are like, I needed help yesterday. This has gone too far. I need to do something now. Uh, and our Restoring God's Foundation, while extremely useful, it takes time to work through. Um, so we're looking at developing a boot camp. We're, or we've already in the process of developing a boot camp for those who are looking for urgent help. We also plan to maintain our presence on social media and develop our podcast even further. And in regard to external speaking engagements, our experience at the Eucharistic Congress was particularly overwhelming with the amazing interactions that we had with the attendees, some of which who have reached out to share with us the impact our resources have had on them already. We hope to keep this momentum by going and attending and speaking at many conferences and echoing our mission to every corner of the nation. As you can see, Road to Purity is on a strategic path to create an even more substantial impact this upcoming year. The journey ahead is challenging, but with, our gen with your generous support, we can march ahead to achieve those noble goals. Thank you.